Since the beginning of hip hop, your rap name or stage name gave listeners insight to your style or unique characteristics about you. And if you're like me, choosing the right rap name that fits you is a pretty big deal. But if your skill sets aren't good enough to make it as a legendary rapper, what would you say if I told you that you still had a chance to create a name that can last forever? Leaving a lasting legacy is something that every great rapper thrives for. Names like Jay-Z, Eminem, and Notorious B.I.G. are synonymous with greatness. But just like rappers have to develop a name that's unique and iconic, so do scientists when it comes to identifying new species. Reserva, the Youth Land Trust, is on a mission to create the first ever entirely youth-funded nature reserve. Along with their partners Rainforest Trust and Ecominga, they have selected a site in Ecuador's Choco Rainforest, a cloud rainforest region that's one of the most biologically diverse locations in the world. Home to many threatened and critically endangered species, the region is under severe threat due to the effects of mining and deforestation. With only 2% of the lowland tropical forests left intact, this means that species of plants and animals are quite possibly going extinct before we ever even discover them, which makes the finding of a whole new species of frogs in this area even more incredible. Yes, this little guy right here lives on Reserva's protected site and is an entirely new frog species never before discovered. What's its name, you might ask? Hi, my name is Hi, my name is what? My name is Good question, because the Ecuadorian scientists who discovered it, along with Reserva, are giving you, yes, you, the chance to give this amphibian its own unique name. But before you start dropping ideas like Lil Ribbit or Froggy the Frolicker, let's dive into how exactly a new species gets its name. Binomial nomenclature is what we call the two-term name system given to organisms. This was developed by Swedish botanist Carl Linnaeus, who is known as the father of taxonomy, the practice and science of classification. Every organism is identified by two names, a common name, okay, not that common, just a standard everyday name that the organism is known by, and a scientific name, which is typically of a Latin origin. Latin is commonly used in classification because of its original complex roots and the fact that it is no longer in use or changing, allowing more precision when classifying things. Common names in the animal kingdom would be names like the pill bug, the praying mantis, the garden slender salamander, or the two-striped garter snake. In music terms, this would be the equivalent of Big Crit, Lil Wayne, Drake, or the late Juice World. Scientific names involve two parts, the generic name, or genus, and the specific name, or species. This would be organisms like the Blue Band Hermit Crab, scientifically known as Pagarius Samuelis, or the Yellow Cellar Slug, scientifically known as Limex Flavus. In simple terms, this would be the equivalent of calling a rapper by his government name, referring to Big Sean as Sean Michael Leonard Anderson, or a young Dolph as Adolph Thornton Jr. Oh, Dolph, young Dolph, Adolph. I get it. The genus helps in the identification of similar species, giving reference to the hierarchy that it belongs to. If we look at popular hip-hop collectives like ASAP Mob, for example, ASAP would be the genus, with Rocky, Ferg, and Ills being the specific species. The same goes for the now former collective YBN, with rappers Corday, Almighty J, and Namir. In terms of our newly unidentified species, one part of the name game equation has already been solved. Scientists have determined that this frog falls under the genus Hyloscurtus, a group of neotropical torrent frogs known to inhabit areas of running water and for being more adept at sticking to wet surfaces. So now that we know some of the scientific elements that go into naming a new species, what are other unique identifiers that can help create the ultimate unforgettable name? There are a number of factors that can come into play, but let's examine two common ones physical characteristics, and location or habitat. If we look at rappers like Tyler the Creator, the identifying part of his common name gives a clear depiction of what he does. We now know Tyler creates, whether it's good music or strange music. The same goes for Chance the Rapper. Obviously Chance isn't a nuclear physicist or the head of a university, although Chance the Chancellor does have quite a good ring to it. Anyway, this makes species like the flying squirrel or the net casting spider 
easy to identify when compared to similar species. Physical characteristics have given us names like the Great Horned Owl, the Jumping Spider, or the Shoebill Stork. And in music, it's given us an understanding of a rapper's size like Lil Wayne coming in at 5'5", or Big Pun weighing in at over 600 pounds. However, scientists don't always get these names right, as horseshoe crabs aren't crabs at all, but rather arachnids. And flying foxes are far from any actual foxes we know. Even species like the starfish have no relation to fish whatsoever, and are instead ignoderms, similar to sea urchins and sea cucumbers. You would think a species commonly known as the mountain chicken is a chicken that resides in the mountains, right? Well, scientifically known as Leptodactylus phallus, this species is actually a critically endangered amphibian native to the Caribbean islands of Dominica. An organism's habitat can also be a source of naming inspiration. You can guess where species like the Andean condor, the Galapagos tortoise, or the Ganges river dolphin exist, or where a rapper like Flo Rida calls home with so many amazing characteristics like the sexual dimorphism between males and females, its ability to change skin color, rounded fingertips, and its location in just the one square kilometer region of the Karchi province in Ecuador, Hyloscurtis has almost unlimited naming potential. Considering how a recently discovered species such as Luridia phoenixi, the velvet spider named after Joaquin Phoenix's epic portrayal of the Joker, or Scatia Beyonce, the horsefly species named after Beyonce Knowles, have all come to be, you can easily say that this name game is completely up to your imagination. Check out the links in the description below, which will give you all the information you need to not only learn more about this new incredible species, but also to get a better understanding of all the associated characteristics that will enable you to brainstorm the most appropriately fitting name. So whether you decide to go with Hyloscurtis Hippopterus or the Choco Loco Cloud Forest Torrent Frog, you now have the taxonomic tools you need to create what might be the dopest name ever in the animal kingdom. I'm the Hip Hop MD. This is Hip Hop Science, reminding you as always that curiosity is nature's PhD. Never stop asking. <laughs>